Hey, Adam, you know the difference between a Garmin Striker 4 and a Garmin Striker 4 Plus? I have no idea. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of No Idea. And this is an episode in which we're going to do a product review of something that we have no idea about. My brother and I have taken up ice fishing this year because there's nothing else to do. And so we decided, hey, why not? Let's spend a lot of money on ice fishing gear. I didn't spend a lot of money. No, he didn't. But actually, my wife is going to watch us. Okay. So I got everything on Facebook really cheap because my wife's going to watch us too. <laughs> oh boy. So. We went out ice fishing, it was awesome. And I found an underwater camera, which is great. The kids love it. And the best part is they love ice fishing because they think they're playing a video game. However, there are limitations to an underwater camera because it depends. If you're in deep water, you can't see crap. And if the water is really muddy and murky, you can't see crap. So, my brother and I said, you know what we need? We need a flasher. Do you know what a flasher is? I have no idea. Either did I. <laughs> it's like so, it's that little circle thing, right, with those colors on it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a Christmas tree. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we, I still. So we were trying to figure out which one we wanted to buy, knowing full well that our wives did not know that we were going to buy these. So here's the thing: we didn't want to break the bank on them. So you can go on like Garmin and you can get the Garmin Vivid and you can drop a thousand bucks on a Garmin Vivid. You can maybe go to a Hummingbird Helix and drop $1,400 on a Hummingbird Helix. But my brother and I were like, no, we can't do that. We gotta be wise about this. So we found the Garmin Striker 4 Series. However, we kind of made a little bit of a, not a mistake, it was kind of funny how this played out. So. You can't find anything ice fishing on the intranet right now. And so what we decided to do is I said, I'm gonna get a Garmin Striker 4 because on YouTube, I saw guys who were able to take the transducer and turn it into an ice fishing transducer. And it was awesome. I'm like, what the heck? And they're all over. You can find the Garmin Striker 4 anywhere at your local place, online, all that good stuff. But I really wanted the Garmin Striker 4 Plus, which is the same thing, but it is created for ice fishing. So my brother found one on the intranet. And right there, where did you find it? At sregear.com. sregear.com, it's a nice mom pa shop in Warrens, Wisconsin. Warrens, Wisconsin. They sell um, search and rescue recovery type of gear which includes underwater cameras and uh, sonar equipment. Dang, so there you go. So now we have two, but we want to compare these two for you. Those who want to buy something, maybe a flasher, or if you want to get something that you can also use in the summertime with your boat as well. So here we go. We are going to unpackage his, unpackage mine, and it's going to be awesome. Okay. So I have not opened this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what's inside of this. Frankly, he just told me, hey, you should go buy this. So I did. So here we go. You got to make the pen. Ooh. SREgear.com. Nice. Thanks for the pen. What size screens on that one? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. All right. There's what's in the box. So, I don't know go. what's in the, what this all is yet. We'll figure it out. All right. So let's start. Basically, this thing I think right here. That's where the. That's where the. So are we putting this together now? Okay. Yeah. Dude, dude, 
dude. Mendo instructions. Let's go. Come on. People are watching. So this is the Garmin Plus 4 um, from the time I opened it up to put it together, probably what, about four or five minutes at max. Yeah, yeah. It's actually very easy, um, even without instructions apparently, it's really easy. I'll obviously review the instructions, but um, a couple of things we'll have to figure out in regards to operation of everything, but from box to here, pretty easy, pretty easy. All right, so this is mine. I actually uh, put mine together a while ago because I wanted to go use it. So, sorry about that, buddy. So here's the Garmin Striker 4. The two major differences that we're gonna uh, share with you today is this. One, the transducer. This is the transducer that came with the Striker 4. And this is really meant for the back of your boat, okay? Um, so what I did, because I checked out and watched some YouTube videos, um, is you can simply create it uh, so that you can put it down in the hole. I basically use PVC piping um, so that I can put it down in the hole. It sits there and I get the perfect signal uh, down to the bottom of the lake. Uh, so I just made this uh, basically out of five bucks is, is all it did. Now the Striker 4 does come with a floaty that allows for you to put it in, but the problem is with this kind of transducer, it absolutely has to be perpendicular to the bottom of the lake or wherever you're fishing. Because if it's, if it's turned any way, it messes up with the flasher. Uh, so I figured I'm gonna get rid of this and just simply use this as well. So that's the biggest thing because your transducer looks like an actual ice fishing transducer, which I'm pretty sure when we're out fishing this summer, you can just throw that in and it'd be awesome. I suppose if you're digging for like over the side of the boat. Yeah. yeah. But and what if I'm gonna be in a boat? Do I have to, for this, don't you have to buy a transducer like that? If you could, yeah. if you wanted to while the boat was moving. Correct. Correct? Yes. Then you buy a transducer like that attach it to this, it would be the same. Right. Could you do the same for that with this? this? I don't think so. I have no idea. <laughs> I <laughs> gotta pick up on those. Like, anytime yeah, there's I'm a sorry, question. I have no anytime idea. Anytime there's a question, you can just say, I have no idea. No idea. Okay, <laughs> no idea. So the other big difference is, this is a three and a half size, uh, three and a half inch screen. This one is a 4.3 inch screen. So this one's gonna be a little bit bigger but everything else is the same, everything. So we're gonna power them on really quick and show you. Here we go. There you go. So you have a couple modes on here. Uh, you, you went really, there you go. We got the traditional. So that's gonna be sending uh, sonar back where you can see the fish, it's gonna be scrolling past. Adam's got the flasher. So I'm gonna do the traditional. The transducer is disconnected, sorry. So you have the traditional, traditional, <laughs> which basically sends the sonar down, brings it back, and you got a map of the bottom so you can see your jig, you can see the fish. Adam here, he's got the flasher. Which is good for telling me how much white claw I have left. There you go. There you go, look, there at, you that. Go. look at that. 30 feet of white claw, pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, these two work perfect. They're awesome. They're super easy to do. The flasher has been, uh, for the one time that I've used it. <laughs> so that's what I don't understand. So the flat is the circle of colors, right? Yes. And then it tells you. It, it'll show where your bait is. Right. And then when a bunch of other colors come up, and it, it tells you the fish is like coming at it. Yes. You don't actually, okay. Yep. You don't actually like, see the fish, because all fish. I fish with is with a camera. Right. With a little video game. Yep. So all you right. do, it, it shows you the bottom, 
and then you just basically yeah. watch where the flashing fish are so in your jig so this one also has a traditional but if you go back uh, you can do a split screen which is pretty cool this is the split frequency right there so and then you can zoom in if you want so you can zoom all the way up to however many feet you want to see in there and it's pretty uh, self-explanatory because we have no idea but these things are fun they're awesome all right so <clears throat> I found mine available at Shields and they have them in stock because it's not ice fishing related. You can do whatever you want with it. You got yours at? SREgear.com. Uh, great store out of Warren's, Wisconsin. Yep. Um, go check out their website. They got a lot of other stuff, a lot of great stuff there, and they were awesome to work with as far as customer service. When you call, you get the owners. Um, very easy to work with, highly you can, recommend it. You can find the link below for sure. Oh, and the other thing is, is make sure you subscribe, like this channel, and here's the thing, we're giving away a hat. This is a special hat. This is our uh, Boneyard Lodge hat. This is our cabin up north. And the person, the 50th person to subscribe to uh, our channel, we'll send you this. So make sure you, what do you call it, smash? Smash the like button or subscribe button or something like that. Sure. I don't know what that, cool Either way, it's ice fishing season. Grab a 3-0. Let's get out to the ice. See you there.